Hello, 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 guys and gals and non-binary pals. Welcome to the second episode, I guess, of me attempting to actually play ranked magic since Wilds of Eldraine came out. That's the challenge thing that we're doing for this month. Um, yeah, I'm just going to jump right into it. Um, at the end of the last one, I edited... Edited. I don't know why I slurred that word. The uh, traditional deck that I was doing. Um, the mill deck. And now I have one more land in there. And hopefully that solves the problem that we were kind of facing in the last one. Um, off camera, I did daily bonuses by playing elementals. So that's why that's there. Um, but we're going to play ranked traditional mode and figure out I don't know what we're figuring out but hopefully actually win a game this time cause <laughs> I didn't as far as I remember which was two days ago since I recorded the last one I don't actually think we won one of the best of three games so Hopefully we can actually win even one of them today. Because <laughs> I would I would like to not not keep losing the games. <laughs> the whole point of this ranked challenge thing is to hopefully try and rank up. And in order to rank up, I need to win a few of them. <laughs> it would be kind of funny if I just always lose, though. Uh, that's got lands, but not a lot of action until later. I don't think it's worth keeping. Hmm, let's see. Another four land hand. I think this works. Um, let's put one of the lands back, one of the islands. So I've got my removal spell for next turn off the fast land. Uh, I've got my counter magic off of the island. Ooh. That changes it. Let's mill them. This is the first not Rakdos deck we've played against so far, which is nice. Oh, it's an Arclight Phoenix deck. That's... <sighs> That's great. Arclight Phoenix casts three or more instants or sorceries, and suddenly it's a problem. Um... Yeah, let's cast this spell. Maybe I should hold up counter magic. But if they care about it enough, they will have their own counter. They're more likely to have counter spells than I am. Yeah. Hmm. I think this is the first time I've jumped into the game immediately. <laughs> Other times I've stalled and things. Hmm. Chase for three mana. You've got seven in hand. You've got two car- Oh, they got a crackling drake. Yeah, let's play a three mana Jace. So they've got counter magic. They are had counter magic. It does not look like they're heavy on counter spells. They've got a lot more dig through your deck type spells. What was Strangle again? Creature and Planeswalker, okay. I can't read that blue one. When a target player draws two and then discards two, it creates a treasure, okay. That is the worst place to put blue text. Draw two, discard two. Hmm. 
Hmm. Let's see, they've got 34 cards left. With this 13, this would do 12, so that's 25. Let's uptick Jace first, targeting no creatures. I'll mill them for 13. Cruel Somnophage is a 4 4 now. The Crackling Drake. Second Crackling Drake. Third Crackling Drake and a Phoenix. Okay, as long as I keep only one Phoenix in there, I'm fine. As long as I mill the Crackling Drakes and not the Phoenixes, I think I'm okay. Basically, I've got to play this as if they're a reanimation deck. Which I guess they technically are more of a reanimation deck than anything. So if I get rid of their graveyard, I get rid of a lot of what they can do. Fourteen cards left. Yeah. Bring back the startled awake. Make their creature smaller. I don't want to get rid of their creature or else they can just bring it back next turn by casting three spells. And I only have 13 cards left so if I connect with the creature I then cast the spell again. Okay. I've got a 9 mil in Jace right now. Jace wins the game now because of that? Okay. <laughs> they were digging for an answer, got their deck too small that they couldn't remove the Jace. That's about how I figured it'd go. Um, their deck only has eight creatures. So I feel like Cruel Somnophage should be taken out. I'll put Ley Lines in because I don't want them to have a graveyard. Um, Mystical Disputes to counterspell their stuff. Fraying Sanity I can go down on. Um, I'm going to keep Drown in the lock in case I don't start with a ley line. Um, can't cast spells from graveyards or libraries. That's the one I need. Yeah. Um, hand hate is probably not necessary. Fatal push seems a little bad unless I can trigger revolt, but I think this will be okay. So far, this is the only game I have won one of the three games in. So that's nice. This is going pretty okay. Oof, that's a, that's not a keepable hand. Is this keepable? Um, let's go with yes. Let's put the, let's put a fabled passage below. Yeah. So 
So they're going to start the game with a consider, more than likely, or an opt. No consider would make much more sense. So I will get a swamp. So that next turn I have the island. Oh, they do have opt. Interesting to run opt when consider is a better option for a deck that wants their graveyard to be filled. I'm going to attempt to mill them for eight. Well, they tapped out their blue mana, so I'm not afraid of it being countered anymore. Is that a lightning axe? That's a lightning axe. Interesting. Demolition field. To destroy their non-basic lands. Let's see what they do. There's a non-basic land. I'm going to counterspell that. So they did bring in other creatures. They do have other creatures now, which is interesting to learn. This is a sorcery. Um, they don't have any arc like phoenixes in the graveyard yet. I'm going to pass. I'm going to save one of these. Let me draw a card. I would like to activate this and get an island. And I will attempt to fatal push the crackling drake. The more cards they draw, the less likely they are to have what they want in their hand. I'm going to save the Startled Awake. I need to pay three more for that. Okay. This is a game of resource denial. Are they going to discard the, the Phoenix? discarded a land. Okay. Think, yeah. Keeping up both of those is fine. It's one. One phoenix. I milled 13, so three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. There's two creatures in there. There's a crackling drake. Tapped land and pass. Yep, this is what I like about this game. No matter how much I can do, sometimes there's just a big threat. An 18-4 doesn't scare me yet. That's the 20th one. They cast one more spell when they get an Arclight Phoenix back. 
but I've got it to the point of they only have three lands untapped, so they can't cast the Crackling Drake. Channel Ottawara to return that creature to your hand. You've got 12 cards left. There's two Arclight Phoenix triggers. Take six. As long as they don't have direct damage. be able to survive this and win. Right now it's just six damage in the air. Counter the Prismari command. Okay, they have their own mystical dispute. Okay. So my only out is draw Jace or draw the other Startled Awake. Okay. I'm not going to show them that I brought in Ley Lines. Because I don't want to give them the opportunity to bring in enchantment removal now. Okay, that kind of sucked. That was a sudden turnaround that I wasn't expecting. Didn't want to happen. I would like to play first. This is a very, very slow hand. I think I have to keep it though. It's got Ottawara, which is good for me. It's got Watery Grave, which is good for me. Might have to play the Ottawa as a land for turn, though. Through the swamp, so I've got blue black. It's the best third land I could draw. Um, pay two life for Jace. Yeah. They do have mystical disputes. Yep. This is going to be interesting. Because I've got a force resource denial upon them. So I have to cast my blue spells. But now while they're tapped out, I'll force them to mill 13. Two memory deluges. One arc light. Okay. One crackling drake as well. I'm gonna make a 1-1. One -one. I like Startled Awake as a creature. Persistent Nightmare. Skulk can't be blocked by creatures with greater power. I don't like their continued use of Prismari Command. They got rid of a Drake and a, and a Lightning Axe. I'll attempt to cast another 
I'll, I'll bring it back, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Bring back the persistent nightmare. Smoldering egg. Put a number of ember counters on it equal to the man. Okay. Ooh, I'm glad I waited. There's a crab. Play the other demolition field. I'm gonna blood chief's thirst the smoldering egg, just regular. So that I can then attack with the one one. Apply the pressure now. Even though I probably, probably, most definitely should not do this now. If I spend two to activate, I then would only have three left. Yeah. Okay. But hey, force him to have the mystical dispute. There's a crackling drake. Okay. Ooh, fun. Another crap. 21 cards left. We're gonna blow up the steam vents. Yes, I would like to find a basic land. I'll find an island. I'll have the mill six. Can make a mill another six. I'm gonna try to fatal push, and I've got three mana available. Okay. No, no, I'm not attacking with that. I could play a land, mill him for six, mill him for another six, that'd be twelve. Yeah. I'm going to force the issue, because it means that they can't draw two cards in a turn. And basically, I'm telling them you have this turn to win, and if you don't win this turn... Oh, they did actually find a land, so they had they had one less card than I thought. Yep. Cool. Mm -hmm. All of their spells caused them to draw cards. And because of that, they could not succeed. Because opt, scry, draw a card. Consider, surveil, draw a card. Charter course, draw two, discard. You can't draw from an empty library or else you lose the game. That's exactly why I tried to mill them all the way out first. Yay! It counts as two wins, so that's why we get a bunch of stuff. We're gonna do one more set of ranked games. Yeah, I guess we could do. I could make each and every video three total ranked games. Still haven't figured out what entirely I want to do with that. But if I did three ranked games each time.
guess. Well, hmm. I know going to magic tournaments and playing with physical cards is a lot more time consuming because actually shuffling the library and shuffling the deck of cards and drawing cards you physically do and you mess up and you miss triggers and you do things like that whereas online the computer does it for you so it's technically faster than a 50 minute game I would always like to go first going first with a mill deck is always beneficial Ooh. If that swamp was an island, this would be a no hesitation keep. As it stands, it's a... Do I actually want to keep it? I think I do. I think I do keep this. Cruel Somnophage is the fun new card. Hmm. Yeah. I'm already hesitant, hesitant to think about how I kept this hand. Because this is a turn two crab, turn three crab, play my second land. I guess I can still... Yeah, I'll do this and immediately get the island. Should I have waited until the end of their turn? Oh yeah, because I don't want to reveal that I'm playing blue all the time. Because now they're wary of, oh, there's going to be counter spells and things. Rethink through their deck and what they're doing. Or now I've told them, hey, I'm not a burn deck. I'm not playing red, so you don't need to worry about that. Play a crab. Play a land, have a mill three. What was that second card? Realm Walker. Are they just playing elf tribal then? I think they're playing Elf Tribal. Yep, it looks like it's Elf Tribal. I'm gonna play a 5-5. Five five. Partly because I've already spent my blue mana and forgot about it. Partly because 5-5 five five tends to be scarier. They've also got Collected Company. I've got a 3-3 with First Strike and Death Touch. Which is not good for me. Yeah, they're definitely 100% playing Elf Tribal right now. Destroy an enchantment, draw, lose life, remove three counters. I'm not blocking. You're gonna draw and lose a life. The other two don't make sense. <laughs> Come on, draw your card and lose a life. Make your deck even thinner. Should you have kept Glissa back as a blocker? Probably. Did you think of it in the moment? No. Oh, I'm playing someone who's gold ranked. Because the color up here is definitely not the same color as the ranked symbol I've got. Oh, that's not a little bit scary to realize. 
Hmm. Okay, I've got a 5-5. Five, five. Let me attack with that first. Let's see what they do. I'm going to say no to your collective company. Glad I didn't cast Maddening Cacophony first. I don't want them to suddenly bring in another Glissa with first strike and block that way. Besage you as well. Okay. So I've got two ways to remove Leyline of the Void in their main board. And a way to remove my Fraying Sanity. Okay, so they have... Hmm. They're probably running a three or four of Glissa. Shaman of the Pack hurts a lot. Not inherently lethal yet. I'll play the land. Mill them for six. Each opponent loses a life equal to the number of tapped creatures you control. That's not a threat. I've got a 14-14, but it means nothing against their 3-3 with first strike and death touch. Death touch just one-shots the creature. First strike means you don't deal combat damage unless you also have first strike. Got 18 cards left. Six plus three is just enough. It's 19. Six plus three. Six plus 13 is 19. Six plus three is only nine. God dang. My brain doesn't work well. Oh, I got a 24-24 out of it. Draw from an empty library and I win the game. Although, elves? Elves is gonna hurt. Creature cards and graveyards and libraries can't enter the battlefield. Graveyards and libraries can't enter. Um, Shieldred's Edict is probably going to be pretty good. Leyline is not going to do much. Um, so I've just got to go faster. In order to go faster... I think Fraying Sanity goes out because it doesn't do anything without support. And... We can lower the number of Jaces I have. My most valuable card is going to be Drown in the Lock because it's a counter spell. Started Awake's a creature. Cruel Somnophage is a creature. And Ruin Crab is a creature. Ley Lines don't do anything. It didn't seem like they had anything in the graveyard. I don't have anything in the graveyard that does stuff. They do have a Takanuma, it looks like, so they have a way, a singular way to bring stuff back from the graveyard. We have two thrones of the god pharaoh and a Tyvar. Although they're probably pulling out a lot of the self mill things. Okay. Should be okay. I'm worried about how fast the elves are going to go and can I keep up while defending my life total and also milling my opponent. Okay. This does not seem like a good 
quick hand. Grafdigger's cage stops there. Stuff. Um, startled awake mills them. But it is too late at the point that I need it. Pithing needle. What are you naming with your pithing needle right off the bat? That's stupid. Rune Crab doesn't have an activated ability, it has a triggered ability. That's the wor most worthless pithing needle. If this person is a gold player, that's the stupid, stupid decision. Sacrifice a creature that is non-token. No. They should have taken a guess that I'm running Jace. shock myself for this so that I can do a maddening cacophony to mill them for eight there's a nykthos in the there there's a nykthos into there there's a nykthos in there necromantra is also a good card to get rid of I'm going to blood chief's thirst to get rid of their creature with two mana value Keep that land in my hand. Start out awake to mill 13. No, I'll keep the land in my hand. In case I draw the Rune Crab, I can play the Fabled Passage. I'll take two, that's fine. I think they have full control enabled because they paused every phase of the combat. Because I don't see any other instant that they could run except for Fatal Push. I guess they could Fatal Push their own creature. That doesn't typically stop consistently. Hmm. Play a 5 mana 1-1. One, one. That you can't block currently. I don't actually know if Fatal Push works against this creature or not. Because the back side has no mana value. But the front side is 4 mana value. The fact that they did not play this as the black side means that they don't have a Necromancia in hand. Because the Necromancia that they have in the graveyard tells me that there might be a second one. Um, you can't block this. I would like to pick it up. You've got 28 cards left. I'll finally play that land. I'll cast the start of awake and have a mill 13. Now they've got 15 cards left. I could make it seven and then maddening, like, by using maddening cacophony. But I think it's fine for right now. Circle of Dreams Druid is only based on the number of creatures they have.
I'm going to destroy the mana dork. Um, I would like to get another island. Uh, destroy target creature. Destroy the circle of dreams, Druid. If I can slow down them quickly building now. Yeah, they get two mana now instead of three, but also the Shaman of the pack only does two damage instead of three. So now they have three mana instead of four mana. Four mana would have been a chance of a collected company. And I don't want that. They've got 14 cards left. This knocks them down to six. This gives me a blocker, but it also gives me... Yeah. Am I overthinking this? Possibly. But if next turn I can connect with... If I can hit their face with the Persistent Nightmare, I will win guaranteed. I finally got a second black source. Utilize the fatal push on the Dwinin's Elite. Try to see what they're doing with stuff. Okay. So they needed me to destroy their creature before they could destroy mine. Got it. Interesting. Second shaman of the pack. I'm at seven. You've got thirteen cards left. Destroy their land that taps for both black and green. I'm going to take an island. I can still cast my creature and have a blocker. But now they're within lethal range if I can get the Nightmare to hit their face. Collector Company couldn't have done anything anyways because I forgot I had the Graft Digger's Cage out. Before I block. There's one Shaman of the pack. There's a second throne. Hmm... If I block, I go down to four, another shaman enters, deals me three. If I don't block, I go to one. Okay. They didn't have it. Awesome. Turn Persistent Nightmare to my hand and cast it, targeting you. You don't have any cards left in your library. Yes! Elves is super tempo, super duper tempo oriented. And yeah, that call of destroying the Circle of Dreams Druid would have been lethal to me if I let them have one more mana. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> wow. I think this ranked challenge might... 
might be going a lot better than I expected. Oh, I got a card. I got a territorial morrow. Power and toughness are each equal to twice the number of basic land types among lands you control. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> that went a lot better than I expected. I didn't think we'd actually win both sets of three games. Um, but yeah. Thank you guys for watching. That was a ton of fun. Um, I will see you all next time. Whenever I make another recording of the ranked matches. Have a good day. Have a good night. Peace out.